Hey guys, so this is going to be a Dollar General and Walmart haul. I also have some Amazon items which I will show at the very end of the video. I'm going to do the Dollar General items first and I'm not showing every single item that I purchased because I did buy quite a few groceries so I'm leaving the bulk of those out. I actually wanted to go to Dollar General to pick up some items for my sprinkle baskets. I have enough items to put together sprinkle baskets without going to the store, but I just wanted to buy some extra fillers because I wasn't really happy with the way the baskets I put together turned out. So the first item that I got from Dollar General, and I will have to say that the day that I went to Dollar General, which was day before yesterday, their shelves were pretty bare. So I got this hand towel to go into one of the sprinkle baskets. It was a dollar. It says, bless this kitchen. It wasn't my favorite, but I did think it was cute for a dollar. I got a second dish towel for another sprinkle basket. It's got the butterflies and it says, live, laugh, love. I was mainly looking for dollar items to put into the sprinkle baskets and Another reason I had went back to Dollar General is because, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had gotten some wooden spoons and they had like, it looked like the wood burning engraved into them with like, I think a floral or a leaf pattern. They were really pretty and I wanted to get more of those for the sprinkle baskets, but unfortunately people have wiped them out. I actually posted pictures of my baskets on the group and this one lady saw my pictures and she went and bought like 30 of those wooden spoons after she saw my basket. So the next items that I got for the baskets were these two Village Natural Therapy Aches and Pains Muscle Relief. It's concentrated mineral bath soap. These were a dollar each. It says fast relief. Fast relief you can fill and it just says muscle and joint discomfort, sore, tired feet, on the go relief. It's Epsom salt. It's got menthol and spearmint. I thought those would be nice for like a nice relaxing bath. And the fact that they were a dollar was also good. I picked up two packs of these tissue papers. These were a dollar each as well. I'm just going to put these in the bottom of the basket, I guess, more just so it looks aesthetically pleasing to the eye. You get eight sheets in each. I picked up two bags of these Australian made soft licorice candies and these were also a dollar each, four ounces. I thought that it would be nice to add some candy or like food items in the baskets. I got two of these pot holders. I thought these would be cute to go in the baskets. Very summery and only one dollar. They're just the True Living brand. They had a couple different pot holders, but these were the only fruit ones, and the other ones were just eh, okay. If there were really cute ones, maybe I like missed them because, like I said, there weren't a lot at all. I picked up two of these charcoal and black sugar dual action face masks. These were a dollar each, 0 0.5 ounces. And I have quite a stack of Yes To face masks. And I was able to find a couple of them, but I can't find the bulk of them. And I want to use most of them for the sprinkle baskets, but I don't know what I did with the bulk of them. I was only able to find like six of them. So that's why I picked up two more of these. I picked up three packs of the sugar wafers. I got two in the strawberry, so... One each of the strawberries will go into the sprinkle baskets, and then I got the vanilla ones for myself. These are eight ounces for a dollar. That's not bad. I picked up two of these mini body sprays for a dollar, and the reason I got these ones is because this is like my all time favorite body spray. This brand and this scent, I love them, and the fact that they're only a dollar. Yes, they're only one ounce, but to go into a sprinkle basket, I thought that would be cute.
they had a couple of these little random items left and there were some of the items that I didn't get that were more than a dollar and I would have gotten two of each of like this item and then I got this little item but they didn't have two of each of these so I got this little two pack mini composition book oh so this does have two in there so I can do I was just going to put this actual package in one of the baskets, but I didn't realize it has two. So they will each get one of these. This one says she believed so she could. She believed she could, so she did. Sorry. And then the back one says love. And once again, I have so many different little notepads and magnetic notepads that I really didn't need to get more. But because I will be, you know giving sprinkle baskets away. I want to keep the stock kind of going. Then this is a six pack of note cards and it's got the pretty little, um, not really rose gold, the copper gold um, sticker so you can seal the envelope. This entire pack is just going to go into one of the baskets so somebody can have these cards. I will um, mark off the dollar on there. I know it doesn't matter if they know that it's a dollar, but I just think it's a little bit tacky. And I actually left, by mistake, the dollar price tags on those wooden spoons last time. I completely forgot to take those off. I picked up these deluxe, it says toenail clippers, but um, I'll use these for my nails or my toenails. These were only a dollar, and we do have some, but... For a dollar, I thought that wasn't a bad deal because it does come with a little tool inside there. I picked up one bag of these Sweet Smiles uh, Pecan Caramel Clusters, 2.5 ounces for a dollar. And these are just for myself. I didn't really want to do too much chocolate because we're like in the triple digit weather right now. And if the basket gets left on the porch, I don't want the chocolate melting. However, I will have to say that... I got a sprinkle basket with chocolate in it, and um, she got, I think she said, the chocolate from Grocery Outlet, and it was so good. It was like a macadamia nut, like a really wide chocolate bar with these really thick squares, and it was so good. Then I picked up three of these uh, Sweet Mint Maze gums, and I actually really like this Sweet Mint gum, so I got one for my little mini purse slash backpack and then I got one each for the sprinkle baskets because who doesn't like to keep gum on them this I actually had picked up for myself not on the last dollar general trip and I'm pretty sure I showed it to you guys but I was looking for more of these for the sprinkle baskets these were only three dollars they come with planner stickers inside and I thought that would be cute. And they did have some of the planners, but they only had one in the But First Coffee. So I just decided to wait until they restocked them. I picked up this pack of the men's low-cut socks, which I thought I had purchased these before, but maybe not. I actually got them for Robert. Robert prefers their like pretty thin ankle socks. And when I order them off Amazon or I get them at like Walmart or Target, they're usually thick. The only thing is, Robert? Sorry about that, guys. I actually heard like the bathroom cupboard like slam, it like opened and slammed and Robert's in his bed. So like it freaked me out. I like got up and looked and anyways, please don't comment and try to scare me with any ghost stories or anything like that because I I don't want to hear about them but anyways so I got him these um 10 pack of men's low cut socks these were five dollars I picked up one of the soft soap in the soothing aloe vera 7.5 ounces for a dollar these or this scent is not my favorite but because soap in my area is still pretty low. I don't go out to the stores a lot at all, but the last couple of times that I have went, the soap aisle is pretty empty. So if I see soap, I will pick up a couple, but I've mainly been ordering my soap off of Bath and Body Works in the foaming hand soap. I really like it. I actually just placed an order um, 
they have the four for 20 or six for 26, but then they also sometimes have where it's like a pack that's already put together and the scents are picked for you. And you get five, I think for 20 or 22. And I always look for those packs. So anyways, I got that and one of those, and then I got two of the Fresh Breeze, also a dollar 7.5 ounces, just so we don't run out because I, even before COVID, hand soap is always something that I kept in stock. I do not like to run out of it. They had these plastic dishes. They were, there was a set, like a floral set that was $1 each for the bigger ones, and then $1 each for like the cake plate sizes. And I almost bought some of them, but then they had these ones, and these were $2 each. And they both are dupes, or they're mimicking the um, Pioneer Women set, or Woman set. I thought they did a good job. They are plastic, but I thought they were cute just to have on hand. I actually have plastic regular dishes, like nice dishes, and then I have a set of, like, six plastic plates. I don't have, like, the plastic bowls anymore or the plastic cups, I got rid of them. But I prefer every night when I make dinner, I prefer to use the plastic plates. They're just a lot easier and I don't know. So my plastic plates are actually, um, I think the 50 cent or dollar ones from Walmart and they're getting worn out and scratched. So I thought I would replace them with these. They look like this. And I think I took a picture of, they're the Melamine dinner plates. There's the $2 tag and I almost wanted to get some of the um floral or whatever print it was of the dollar ones to put in some of the sprinkle baskets like maybe some of the smaller cake plate ones because I thought those would be cute with a candle on them but I was like no I'm not gonna do it but I'll have I do have to say they they look pretty similar to Pioneer Woman so then I also got two of this Gallo family sweet peach wine and I don't drink alcohol. I haven't drank alcohol in, I want to say like 10 years. Um, but I have seen people putting like wine or little margarita mixes in the sprinkle baskets. And this was on sale at Dollar General for $3 and 50 cents. I thought that was a good deal. Gallo is a good wine company. And I know a lot of people do like peach. I don't, but I just thought it would be a nice little gift to include in the basket. So then I think that's everything from Dollar General. If I see anything else pop up in the bags, I'll tell you it's from there, but I'm going to start showing you the stuff that I got from Walmart. So in the shoe section, I got these sliders and I got the size 9 to 10, and these were $8.97. I should have got my pair out that look almost identical to this, and the only reason I don't wear them is because they fit, but they're, like, right on the verge of being too small. Like, the edge of my foot goes right to the edge, and the only difference is they're a lot more, like, sturdy, and they're better quality than these. These are just, like, a cheap plastic but I did think these were really cute. I love all the bling on them. And I tried them on, got them. And then when I got home, I tried them on again. And they're kind of the same thing. They fit, but they're like right on the verge of being too small. They're like perfect. So I don't know. I might give these away. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to keep them or not, but they're very cute. I also got these ones. And the weird thing is is these are the exact same size and I'm pretty sure yeah they're the exact same brand and these fit I have extra room in these that doesn't make any sense to me wait oh no wait time true let me see yeah they're the exact same brand time true size 9 to 10 and these ones I'm definitely not giving away. I think these are really cute. They have an iridescent look to them. And then they have that plastic. They were only, I believe, $8. Same price, $8.97. And I wear sliders all the time. I have like Adidas, a couple pairs of Adidas, Nike. I have some Walmart ones. I slip them on to check the mail. 
um, do laundry, just whatever. So um, the only thing is if you do get these ones, make sure you check this part because a lot of the ones I looked at were really scuffed and scratched up, like from people trying them on and then just throwing them on the ground. I always hang them back up. I do not throw them on the ground. I just think that's rude. And if I'm walking through the aisle and I see them on the ground, I actually will pick them up. I don't just run them over with my cart. So then I got Jordan. I didn't get them for Robert because I already know Robert will not wear flip-flops. He'll wear sliders, but not flip-flops. I got Jordan this pair of flip-flops. They're just a generic pair of black flip-flops. So if he goes out into the garage or whatever, they were only 98 cents. They're the size 13 to 14. Nothing special. But I will have to say the Walmart ones for 98 cents are a lot better quality than the Dollar Tree ones. The Dollar Tree ones, to me, I would only buy those like if I was going camping. And then after camping, I would throw them away. Like for a one to maybe a couple time use. The print comes off of them like after one wear and whatever. So there's that. I got two of the Glade cashmere wood sprays. These are just, I think 89 or 98 cents each. And speaking of the Glade cashmere woods, I still have more Walmart stuff to show you guys, but off of Amazon, I ordered this Glade set and I think it was like $14.99 or $15. So it looks like this. This is the front of it. And it's just one of those things that you can set the timer in it and it sprays it for you. And I've actually already had it hanging. I hung it like in a corner, um, kind of hidden. You can set it, just like set it somewhere or you can hang it. I didn't want to set it anywhere because... Um, I didn't want it spraying onto any like surfaces, tables or anything. So I chose cashmere woods and it comes with batteries. So that's good. It just pops open like this and then you put the can in there and it's got three different settings. You can do every 36 minutes, 18 minutes or nine minutes and it just sprays for you. So I really like that because I'm like a freak about keeping my house smelling good with plugins and wax and all that type of stuff so you don't have to constantly be spraying stuff. I got Jordan back to Walmart items. I got Jordan this t-shirt and he is like a computer nerd. He likes anime so I knew he would like this. He watches like One Punch Man, all those. This is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Naruto and... The price for this was, doesn't say the price, but I think I paid around $9 and some odd cents. It was like basically $10. So I thought that was a good deal and he did like it. So I just have to wash it because I wash everything before it's worn. I picked up this three pack of just the Dove White Soap. They had like the Summer Care all the different ones. I just decided to go with the white one. I believe this was like $3.97. I got this dish towel. This was $1.97. And I actually wanted to get more of this one for my sprinkle baskets. But this was the last one. So I'm keeping this one for myself. I like the material of this one. Walmart gets the ones for 98 cents or 88 cents. Those ones are the like cheaper material. And then the ones for $1.97 are this softer, thicker material. So I just thought this one was really cute for summer. It's in the Mainstays brand. I got this pack of Equate panty liners. This was, I believe, like $1.88. You get 54 of them. These are also made in the USA. Yes, not going to lie, there are items that obviously I'm purchasing that aren't made in the USA, but I am trying to look for as many items as I can that are made in the USA. I picked up this plastic lightweight shower liner. I changed these out like... I want to say about once a month because the bottom starts getting the pink soap scum or like mold on them. This was, I think, $2 and some odd cents. It says chloride-free PIVA, whatever that means, and it's got magnets to help keep the liner in place. 
I keep the plastic one on the inside and the fabric one on the outside. I got this Colgate Total Toothpaste. It's the whitening, and this is actually what my dentist recommended. I did show you guys the Crest 3D White from Dollar Tree. I will pick those up in between, like, my bigger shopping trips or ordering off Amazon. Um, but I have been sticking with this just because... It's what my dentist told me they recommended. I picked up this Claritin for about $20. It was $18 and some odd cents. And I will have to say, I think Dollar General is a little bit cheaper, but not much. So you get 30 tablets. And if you're buying Claritin, you guys, it's actually a much better deal to get like the 30 tablets or the bigger one. When you're getting the little five or 10 pack, that just, I was doing that in the beginning. That adds up and it's way more expensive. Let me see. I think, okay, you guys are going to think this is really weird, but I got this Gerber rice single grain cereal and I got this for myself. I know that's weird that a grown woman would be eating this, but my grandma has eaten it. Um, I think my mom used to. I don't know if she does, but I know my Grammy does, and I just like it. I'll add a little bit of milk and just a little bit of sugar, not a lot, and I'll have that for, like, breakfast. So I got that. Oh, this is from the Dollar General. Not also, nothing exciting, but I got uh, this with a digital coupon. I think I saved two or three dollars off this, and I love Arm & Hammer, but I only like the Arm & Hammer that has Oxy in it, and this is 75 loads. I think this was originally like $8, and then like I said, I saved the 2 or $3. It's definitely worth using the Dollar General app because you're literally saving money with their digital coupons by just selecting them. Like, I've actually went down my receipt and saw how many store discounts they just give those to you no matter what. And then actual digital coupons, there have been times where it has, I think the biggest one, I think I saved like 80 something dollars with the digital coupons. It was a big trip. I bought lots of like food items and stuff like that, but that's a lot of extra money that I would have spent had I not just went to the app and selected them. So they also always have Saturday um, where you save $25, I think, if you spend 50 I don't remember exactly what it is, but I use that deal too. So then I'm going to show you guys some of the items off of Amazon, and then I'm going to show you my two sprinkle baskets if the video doesn't cut off. So I got Robert off of Amazon this champion shirt. It is dirty. I already washed it, and he wore it. I got it out of the dirty clothes just to show it to you guys. This was $8 and some odd cents. I'm actually slowly buying him new summer clothes, so I thought that was good. And they also sell Champion on um, Walmart.com as well. They get some of the Champion items in the store as well. I got him... Oh, that's the Naruto shirt. Off of Amazon, I got him this Hanes. And I didn't even realize it was Hanes when I ordered it. It's just a black and kind of faded white flag shirt. This was like $4.97. They had these in red, white, a couple different colors, and I liked this one the best. And Robert and I, like stuff like this, we'll wear this year-round. We don't only wear or support our flag at 4th of July. I support it year-round. I actually bought, and it's all the way over there. Let me grab it. It's a Walmart item. Where is it? One second, guys. Sorry, I know this is horrible, but I, there's no way I'm going to be able to reach this without getting up. I should have just paused the video, but I got this flag from Walmart, and it was, I believe, like ten, $10, I think, and I've actually contemplated sorry, contemplated getting it a couple of times. It's made in the USA. That's awesome. It's a poly cotton US flag and pole. So it's the kind that you like mount, you know, in, on the side of your garage and it hangs kind of slanted. You could really put it anywhere. I thought that was a great price for 
a nice flag and then the pole and the end of the pole shows that it has an eagle on it and I actually want a flagpole in my front yard with a spotlight for at nighttime. I know that might be like a bit much for some people, but I have like a uh, military in my family and I don't know. That's just something I want to do. I have a beautiful flag that I got from 99 cent only. It is like such nice material. It's thick. It's a really big size. I just need a actual flagpole for it. So I don't know when I would actually do the pole in my yard, but um, I am excited to put this up today. I got a little garden flag and I was kind of irritated because I hauled the little flag in my last Dollar Tree haul and then the little garden flag holder, which I bought that garden flag holder multiple times and it's broke multiple times. I went to put the little flag and the garden flag pole outside. I even got the ground wet before I put it in and it snapped in wet dirt that wasn't even hard. I was so mad. I tried to tape it. It was not having it so I had to throw it away so I went on Amazon and ordered this cute garden flag I thought this was really cute it says welcome to our home they had lots of different ones this is like a nice thick feels like burlap kind of to me and it didn't say anywhere in the description that it didn't come with the pole that was like the main reason I got it was for the little pole it didn't come with the pole so now I need to order one. The only thing is, is I've been reading the reviews on a lot of the polls and they say that they're like flimsy and not sturdy. And a lot of them are like $14.99, 15 So I'm not paying that for one that's not sturdy. So still can't hang this up yet until I find another garden pole for it. Might just break down and get another stupid Dollar Tree one. So I think... Oh, then I got Robert this pack of, I know these are random items, but just so you guys know, you know, the deals on Amazon. I got Robert these briefs, they're Fruit of the Loom, and he actually really likes these. He already has these, and I think it was a four or a five pack for like eight bucks, which I think is a good deal because if you get Fruit of the Loom, even at Walmart, it's more expensive than that, and these are like the breathable ones. <clears throat> I got these Q-tips off of Amazon, and it's 750 count, but you got two of them for $4.99. I thought that was an awesome deal, and I pretty much hate the Q-tips that bend really easy, like the ones from Dollar Tree, but I read the reviews, and people said these compared really well to the actual Q-tip brand, and I will have to say that they definitely do because I've already opened the first box I take them out and I have a little cute mini box in the drawer. And so I'm definitely going to be ordering these from now on off Amazon. I used to get the big bag of 1000 from 99 cent only, but I don't go there like hardly at all anymore. So definitely if you need Q-tips and you're looking for good ones at a good price, check out Amazon in the Cotton 2 2 pack. I got this Dove Men Care Spray. I think I got this at Walmart and I, yeah, Walmart. I was actually looking for this one. This smells really good for men, you guys. I've been buying it for Robert and Jordan. Jordan uh, ran, no, Robert ran out, so I got this one, but I don't really like the scent of this one, so I will get this one again once it's back in stock. So now I'm going to show you guys the baskets I got. This one doesn't look... It wasn't presented like this. It had a bag of almonds that had like a kind of sugar coating on them. It had the macadamia uh, chocolate bar that I told you about. And then it had these like Hawaiian macadamia covered coconut chocolates. They were like a long skinny bar. And it was actually from my good friend Candice. She included this ivory free and gentle body wash. And I was actually looking at this at the store wondering if it was good. So I was happy to get that. She included this little Febreze um, car freshener in the new car scent. I love new car. She put these Eco Tools muslin polishing cloths in there. This bar of soap, it's in the Waver Tree in London. It says, love you. I think the 
Packaging is super cute. It smells really good. I won't use this on my body, but I will use it as a hand soap in my bathroom. And then she gave me um, the Glam Glow Berry Glow, which I do already have this from my, I think it was BoxyCharm. But I was happy because now I'll keep one and then I'm going to give one of them, because they're identical and not opened, one of them away in one of the sprinkle baskets. And I know somebody will be happy to get that. And then she included a little card. And then, like I said, the candy. Then I got one from this person I don't know, but I got this on my porch. And it came in this little pink bag. And she gave me this little card, which I have these little cards I got them from Target a long time ago, but they are really cute. She put this little cup in there, and um, I saw these at Dollar General, and she must have used her Cricut, and she put a J on that. I thought that was so cute and so sweet. She put a little Chips of Hoy mini cookie pack in there. This little Sweet Honey Bear face mask. For all skin types. I think the packaging with the little bear and the bee is very cute. She put this little mini picture frame and it says, P.S. You're beautiful and doing great. It's got a little stand so you can uh, stand it up or you can hang it. She put this little mini candle from the Target dollar spot. And it does have a very um, subtle scent to it. I think that's cute. And then she also put this little tiny I Believe in You rock, which I think is super cute. And then the little uh, watermelon card came in this envelope. You guys already know I talk my head off in videos. I've told you guys before I should probably label them as a haul slash chat, but I just don't. The last thing that I wanted to show you guys, if I can reach it, oh my gosh, my back is oh and I decided I'm going to include these K-cups that I had hauled in uh, my last Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to 